Well, I think that's the end of that. Um, for one, that guy shouldn't be smoking and it smells terrible. Although I couldn't really smell it a lot with the respirator on. Uh, it was getting hot and then getting stuck and then I saw it started smoking. So I let off there. Uh, it does sound like a rock tumbler. And this was my last reinforced uh, grinding disc. Anyway, I had these other ones from a pack, but if the reinforced ones kept blowing, the other ones are not gonna be any better. So um, I did get quite, oh, sorry. I did get a bit of this ground hour cut out. So from here all the way around to here is cut out. So I just need from here to about there. Uh, unfortunately, not gonna have enough to finish this or do the other side. So I'm gonna have to come up with another solution, maybe buy a different Dremel. Um, not really sure at this point, but uh, we're getting there. This is, uh, this is almost out. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to finish this on another day. All right, so I had to take a little break from the uh, body mount replacement on this. When I was using the Dremel, it, uh, it got very hot to the point it started smoking, so I stopped using it. Uh, I went and bought a new Dremel, um, but in the meantime, I had contacted them to see if I could get it repaired and keep it as a backup. I didn't know if the new one was gonna burn up and I had to send it in and whatnot. Um, they said uh, it's out of warranty, uh, but send it in and we'll take a look at it. Maybe we could put a new motor in it and it was gonna be cheaper than buying a new one. So I sent it in and uh, what I got back was a refurbished unit, which is awesome. It cost me nothing. Um, the switch on this was bad. Uh, the switch, actually this, the RPM selector switch, uh, it wouldn't go up and down in RPM, it would just stay at the RPM that I think was like 5,000, unless you squeezed the case, which was just weird. But uh, anyway, got myself a new uh, refurbished, I should say, uh, unit. So I'm gonna get back on this and start cutting. We gotta finish cutting this one out, we gotta cut that one out, and then we can start welding. So that's where we're at. One other thing while I was out at the store, I saw these high speed saw blade kit. It was at Menards, it was, I don't know, a couple bucks. Uh, I'm gonna see how it works. Uh, I was obviously tearing up the uh, the discs for the Dremel discs doing this. I went through uh, like five or six of them and I got like halfway done. So I'm gonna try these little saw blades and they're for, uh, it says wood, metal, and plastic uh, for rotary tools. So hopefully they hold up and cut through the stuff I need to. But if not, I bought a new pack of the, the uh, Dremel discs. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so I tried out those uh, high-speed cutters, and uh, I don't know if you can see, but I burned them up pretty good, so they didn't really last. I went through two of them and gave up on that idea, but uh, maybe they can be used for something else. Uh, they barely cut. Um, I was having better luck with the, uh, the Dremel stuff, which, by the way, I messed up on. I bought some new, uh, let's see, Dremel Easy Locks. Uh, the problem is I don't have the mandrel or whatever you want to call it for uh, hooking these up. They have like a, a toolless uh, piece in there. You can kind of see it's like butterfly shaped. So you like, uh, I'm assuming I think you press down and twist. Um, I think that's how it works. It's a pull twist release. So I got to go buy one of those mandrels. Um, I'm sick and tired of using the little screwdriver to screw the little end off with the new uh, cutter on which I didn't have any of the reinforced ones. So I ended up using uh, uh, these st standard ones there. I have a bunch of these. So these little ones, which did remarkably well over the high speed metal cutter. So I went through a few of these. I could only get like a quarter of an inch, half an inch and they would bust or be worn down. So uh, I was just gonna say screw it and run through these, but I there's no way I can go through changing all that out. So. Uh, I mean, changing these out every other minute. So I'm gonna head to the store and get uh, the mandrel for that piece and then 
start on the cutting on the other side. Uh, but before that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark my uh, washer. There's a flat spot on the um, where I cut. It was is isn't completely round where the the two halves of the frame come together and they're welded from the factory. There's actually a flat spot uh, that covers the hole, so it kind of goes like this. So I'm going to mark up the washer and mark scribe the flat spot on here, grind it flat so it'll sit down in there in that pocket and not like this up on top of the uh, the other piece of the frame. Um, yeah, I'm gonna clean up the hole, make sure this fits in there, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> 